I think you have understood whatever I have just now I have narrated before you half of the story there are five characters and holy the story it is written by K A Abbas the modern author so he has taken the theme and that theme is social evils of 18th century 19th century and beginning of 20th century 20th century india very practical and the story is quite rational not at all supernatural or any fairy tale so the story it be a story is based on rationalism quite rational the social evils as dowry or parents they used to treat girl child or girl children as the burden to them a burden or surplus members of the family so these social evils he has emphasized through the story bhuli and five characters are bhuli bhuli's father ramlal bhuli's mother bhuli school teacher or class teacher and vishambar a greedy person who demanded dowry from ramlal then later he will come to know and what is the end of the story very nice story this is a message social message on behalf of the author k a abbas and why people used to call sulekha as bholi i already told you because there was an incident took place in bholi's life when she was mere few months old she fell down from cot and she had uh, a brain injury and that is why she was slow to grasp something slow of grasping her memory power it was not as normal as other others that is why she often used to forget many things that is why people even her parents used to call her bholi villagers also her relatives also apart from that bholi she was not at all a good looking girl though she was a teenager but due to small pox some mark pop marks were there on her face and entire body that is why her mother also used to tease her and when the tehsildar he approached bholi's father when he came to inaugurate a primary school in the village when he approached to send his daughters ramlal he kept quiet he didn't say anything he didn't reply he kept quiet only but bholi's mother she told her husband that she was not willing to send her daughters to school because if they will start going to school it will be difficult for them to get them married you can understand the temperament of the contemporary women or the contemporary society instead of sending school bholi's mother was not agreeing to send her girls to school because of the society people will raise fingers towards them that why you are sending your girl children girl children to the school they will become very advanced because that time british rule it was going on colonial period it was passing they were passing through so they had to face they had to answer the society contemporary society that is why those were the concept concepts they used to inculcate inculcate the female especially the women of the time used to inculcate these kinds of thinking or concepts in their mind 
but she agreed to send boli because boli was ugly and she was saying that we would face difficulties for the marriage of boli so it is better to send her school and when boli she attended the school for the first day she was very much scared to see the atmosphere and the environment of the school because she has never seen such environment all the students they were sitting in a classroom but she was quite uh, excited to see the pictures on the wall those were painted on the wall she was quite exci- excited because it was the first time this was the first time she saw such things so she liked it but she took a corner and silently she was sitting in the classroom and after that an interaction took place between bholi and the teacher and the teacher approached bholi in a very cordial manner with modesty and when the teacher asked bholi her name she started stammering because she had the tendency of stammering she started stammering and later on when all the children they went away after this person then she was a little bit comfortable easy then she told her name to the teacher clearly that her name was bholi so this much for the day so guys on the basis of two days teaching or two days uh, lesson you please note down five questions note down five questions only and later on that means in my next next lecture i will give you some word meanings from the chapter after completion or after completing the entire story then i will give you all the words from the chapter so today only i am going to give you five questions on the basis of my lecture so guys note down question number 1 what is the original name of bholi what is the original name of bholi question 2 why she is named as bholi why she is named as bholi question 3 what did tehsildar the spelling tehsildar capital t e h s i l d a r what did tehsildar advise ramlal what did tehsildar advise advise ramlal question 4 what was bholi's mother's opinion what was bholi's mother's opinion about sending her daughters to school what was bholi's mother's mother's apostrophe s mother's opinion about sending her daughters daughters to school question 5 why bholi's apostrophe s why bholi's mother agreed to send bholi to school why is why bodhi's mother agreed to send bholi to school question mark so guys these are the five questions on the basis of today's lecture that means whatever the summary or synopsis of the story i have narrated before you bholi the name of the story chapter number 9 from your ncert supplementary book footprints without feet by k a abbas the modern author of the 20th century and he has presented through this story the social evils of the time that means the 18th century 19th century early 20th century dowry girl child 
at the burden of parents, dowry at the social level. Still, there are many families in our country. This evil, it is that means this, this social level dowry, it is practiced. Still, it has not been abolished 100%, you know that. And girl child, girl child, still many parents, many families, they do treat girl child as their burden, especially in the rural areas as their burden. If a girl child is born, many families, those are noticed that they are not happy. If a girl, baby girl is born, many, I am not talking about that entire, many families, still many families are there in our country. If a baby girl or girl child is born, they are not happy. So, that is why this rational story K. A. Abbas he has presented with an outstanding manner through the character of Bholi, through the character of Bholi's mother and all the characters, each and every character you can say that each and every character in its own place is outstanding and quite realistic in its own place. Bholi's mother, Ramlal, Vishambar, Bholi, Bholi's teacher, each and every character. The, uh, the author has presented all the characters in a very realistic manner, very rational, rational manner, as if, as if those are those characters appearing before our eyes as real. So here the author is very much successful to present the story simultaneously all the characters. So guys, this much for the day. I don't want to uh, linger the story because in my next lecture, uh, next lecture, I will complete the story, the remaining part, I will tell you and what message through this story the author wants to convey to the readers and to the society. So till then, you answer all these questions, five questions and in my next class, I will give you the words, you have to search the meaning of these words and note it down in a copy. Till then, you write to solve all the five questions. Take care of yourself. Stay home. Stay safe. God bless you. Bye-bye.